Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be on the Wet n Wild Crystal Cavern collection. I believe this is going to be their summer collection. Please check out my previous video, which was the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection. I'll link it down below. There's a giveaway going on there, so make sure you go enter and then come back and watch this one. This one, I'm going to go over all of the pieces in this collection. As you can see, I bought the PR box. The PR box was $49.99. I did hear a couple of people on Twitter say that they were able to pick pieces up at Walgreens, but I'm not positive, so I don't want to put that out into the universe. Maybe give your Walgreens a call before making a trip to see if they have it. Um, but I'm going to go over every piece so that when it does drop, and I believe it's dropping in the beginning of May, if I have a date, I will put it up here on the screen. Okay, so let's get into the video. And then at the end of the video, I'll let you know how to enter this giveaway. Okay, so getting right into it, the collection has four eyeshadow palettes, two highlighters, four, uh, four lip glosses, four rollerball perfumes, and a illuminating setting spray. I'm also going to show you a couple other products that I did pick up on their website because I actually like them and I wanted you guys to have that info as well. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the video. We have four eyeshadow palettes. Each one is named and themed after a specific crystal. The purple, we have amethyst. For green, we have jade. The whites and neutrals, we have a clear quartz, and we have a pink rose quartz. I'm going to go through them and show you what I liked and didn't like and which ones I liked the best. Ignore my nails. I've been opening packaging all day. I apologize. Up first, we have amethyst, and the packaging is beautiful. It's a triangular shape, which is kind of cute. I don't mind it. Um, with the holographic inside, and the palettes all have the color scheme outlined in a foil. It's really pretty. We have two satin shades, they're not really metallics, and then we have a pressed glitter, or uh, I would say a foil, but these look like they're metallic, they're not, I'm gonna swatch them for you now. The purple was the worst of the palettes, not my favorite whatsoever. This is the deeper one, as you can see, it barely shows up with a swatch, it's almost impossible to pick up with a brush. This is the lavender silver one, it, you can see a hint of lavender here, but once it's on the eye, it looks completely silver. And then this is the glitter, which isn't too, too bad. It has a black base and it has magenta and gold, uh, magenta and silver flecks in it. If you were thinking of getting one of these, I would skip on this one. The performance on this one was pretty bad. Next up, we have Rose Quartz. And this is my absolute favorite out of the palette. All the shades perform beautifully. So we have a icy pink, we have a more rose gold, which is actually like a duochrome, and then we have this, it's like a foil, I guess, of a, like a dusty rose. So this one is the duochrome, and the best way I can describe this one is it's very similar to Makeup Geek's Mai Tai, if you're familiar with that. It's an absolutely beautiful shade, it goes on the lid really nicely, and I didn't have to wet this one. This is the dusty metallic shade in the bottom. It's a little faint, but it's very beautiful and it looked very pretty on the lid and inner corner. And then the satiny. This one's more like a ballerina pink. Uh, it doesn't show up very well on my skin, but it is really pretty and it looked gorgeous as a brow bone highlight. So this one is definitely my favorite. This one is rose quartz and if I were going to pick any of these up, this one would definitely be one of them. Next we have the green and this one is Jade. And this one I had a bit of a trouble with. This shade here barely shows up. And that's me pressing rather roughly. With a brush it literally does nothing. It is a pretty shade, it's like an army green with a little bit of a gold, but it's renders itself pretty useless because it's very difficult to pick up even with a natural hairbrush. Wet, it didn't matter. Whatever I did, I could not get this guy to work. The deeper green is a little bit better. I would say this is more of a foil and this has some gold fleck in it. 
This shade is very beautiful, but you definitely need to use it wet. Once you put it on the eye, it pretty much like falls off, but I found when I wet it, it would give it more of a base to stick to, and I would definitely use this dark green on an unset eye. If you set your eye with powder, forget it, it's a nightmare. This shade is the best shade in the palette, and it's like a white and minty green duochrome, and it's very, very pretty. And if anything, I would get this palette for those two shades, but you're not gonna get good luck with that one. That one's terrible. And lastly, we have Clear Quartz. This one is not that great because of my skin tone. It really doesn't show up on me at all. You have your taupes, and uh, this one is like a, just a plain white shimmer, which is pretty, um, but I feel like you need more than this in a palette. This is like an ivory with a silver fleck, and then you have the plain white shimmer, and just this naturally taupe. You really can't get much of an eye look out of this. You literally would have to buy this as a secondary palette. So I didn't really care for this one. It's not horrible, but it's kind of annoying that you can't do much with it. Okay, onto the highlighters. We have a pressed pan highlighter, and then we have the highlighter that are like the meteorites. They call this one Brightening Rocks. And then this one here is like a cream highlight. The name of this highlight is Crystal High. And if you get anything from the collection, get this. It has this wet, creamy feeling like a Super Shock shadow, but it's more wet. Where a Super Shock is a little more stiff than this. This feels like a cream highlight, but it's a very unusual texture. I don't have a highlighter with this similar formula whatsoever but I wanna show you how beautiful this is. It, even though it's creamy, it does go on the skin beautifully. It doesn't emphasize texture and it's very, very blinging. The only thing is I wouldn't go grab this if you are deeper than a medium skin tone. It is your true champagne -y highlight, so just keep that in mind. But if you can wear this shade, I highly recommend out of everything to pick this up. This highlighter is fantastic. The other thing is once I show you this highlighter, I want to show you how I was able to wear this at its best. And also, even though this has that creamy formula, it never lifted up my makeup underneath. It didn't really apply like a cream, even though it feels like a cream, if that makes sense. It's stunning. I love this. I hope they make more highlighters in this formula. Now, the other highlighter are the Brightening Rocks. It comes like this in a little jar. And then you have all these little rocks inside. I think it's really cute how they did the four colors of the collection in each individual rock. Okay, so by itself, I would just swirl it around and it's more of a natural highlight. Nothing, nothing crazy, it's more subtle, but it's beautiful. I do like it. It's just not as blingy as I would like. However, if you watched my previous video, you'll see that I use this as a highlighter brush all the time. I am giving away another brush like this in the giveaway of the previous video so make sure you enter. Well, I applied this highlight on one side of my face with my fingers because I was unsure of the formula. Then the other side I took a brush and this is one of the brushes I love for highlighting and I applied it and as you can see how ridiculous this is. But then, because it felt creamy and I wasn't sure of how this was gonna wear, took some of the little rocks and then I just set this down, which literally amped this up 10 notches. So if you really are interested and if you really like this, try picking up both of these. They are gorgeous. So I won't be able to wear this much longer, but I'm going to wear the shit out of it right now because it really looks beautiful and the light hits it a certain way, once you set it with this, it will pick up little bits of pink and green, but not overpowering and very wearable. It's really pretty. So I suggest picking these up together, but if you're only getting one, definitely get this one. Okay, up next, they have four little rollerball perfumes, which I thought was really cute. There's a green one for Jade with little green crystals in there. I don't know if you can see them that well, but they're in there. And the Rose Quartz, the Amethyst, and the Clear. Um, I do like some of these scents, 
I'm not good at perfume descriptions, so if I can find notes on these, I will leave them up on the screen. But I do want to show you one thing. The green one is called Prosperity, which apparently is what Jade is for. But I want, I hope you can pick this up. The ball on these are very loose. So just keep in mind, if you do pick these up, go in very lightly, because the minute you press, a ton of perfume comes out. So you want to go in very carefully. This one is my least favorite of the scents. There is sort of a chemical scent to it, but the other three are really nice. And I'm not big on rose. I'm not too sure on the scent of this one or what they are. Like I said, I'm going to leave the notes up for you if I can find them. But we have the rose. We have the clear. The clear definitely has a coconut scent to it. And it's not overpowering. But if you don't like coconut, you will hate this. I happen to love coconut, so I don't mind it. And then the amethyst one. So... Up next, we have four lip glosses, which you all know I'm not a fan of lip gloss, but this one here is amethyst, and I will say it's not like a wet and wild traditional lip gloss. It has this, it's a little sticky for sure. It's probably something that I won't grab a lot, but I might pick this up occasionally. It has this really pretty great base, but then the shine on this of blue is See if I could, yeah, I want to try and grab the light. The blue shine on this is insane. So if you like stuff like this, you're going to love this. It's gorgeous. It has this electric blue mini little flex in there. It's so pretty, and it's actually very unique. So I like this, and I'm going to try and get more friendly with some lip glosses because I really love it. Up next, we have Jade, which is also really cute. This one is like a clear base, but the shift on this is like a minty green. And it's also very pretty but I don't know if you want a green shift so I'm a little off on this one is it fun yes but maybe for a younger person not something I would ever grab I don't want a green shine on my lip but it's cute and then we have clear quartz which has a ton of rainbow glitter in it it's like a pink a blue a purple and it's really really beautiful and I would say use this as a top. This can go over anything because of the clear base. It'll just amp up any lipstick. This one's really, really pretty. This one here, I am not opening. This one I thought would be great for the giveaway because it can go with any skin tone. It's a neutral rose goldy gloss. Like, this is a good gloss for anyone. So I wanted to hang on to this one for the giveaway so I won't open it. But the shade name, in case you're interested, is Rose Quartz. Okay, up next we have this face mist. This smells like absolute crap. If you, I grew up in a Catholic church. If you have been into a Catholic church, the little smoke thing that the priest walks around, if you've ever been to a funeral, he'll go and bless the casket and he'll um, use that little ball with this. This is what it smells like. I don't know if that's frankincense. I'm not sure what they use in that incense, but this is what it smells like. I can't stand it. I highly recommend you stay the hell away from this. This is terrible. I did buy some other products that I just want to talk about briefly. So the first one up is called What Shady Beaches, and I think it's the cutest name. But this is their matte bronzer. I will say it's a little orange, but it has a nice little sheen to it, which I like. Even though it's matte, it's still a little glowy. And when I'm more tan, this will look beautiful on me. I'm excited to use this in the summer. The other one is Palm Beach Ready, and this one to me is just a highlighter for deeper skin tones. I don't find this a bronzer that I will ever use. It is too glow, like this is just too glowy for me in a bronzer. It has such a high shine that I'm not sure that I'm going to like this. But for a deeper skin tone highlight, and it's a nice size pan, I would say grab this. The powders themselves in these are gorgeous. I like the icon formula so I wanted to show you these two because summer is coming and I thought these were both beautiful okay they came out with these powders I don't know when they came out it was my first time seeing them on their site I got the translucent and I got the banana powder now before I get into why I don't like them it's not because of the powder I like this formula and that's why I want to talk about it the powder is great 
This is the banana shade. And it may look a little light on camera, but it's almost an orangey yellow. It's not a traditional banana powder at all. And I'll show you in a second next to my banana powder. So this one here is the translucent, but as you can see, it is not translucent. So I want you guys to be aware and be careful. This is my banana powder that I normally would use. I want you to see the difference. This one is yellow. This one is like almost like a orange, like I would say this is like an apricot color. And if you have Patrick Stars, his is lighter than this. This is like a rich apricot color. This is a true banana powder. It's like a paler yellow, but it's yellow. As far as translucent, this is not translucent. It, it's more like an ivory or for a very fair skin tone set, like that kind of powder, yes. So be mindful of your shade. The powders are great and they work beautiful, but not what you would think they were intended for. I'll link my video down below, but I have made, I customize my own powders and I make them fitting to my skin tone. So what I'm going to do is cut this banana powder with some RCMA. And this one I probably will use as a setting powder. It's fine that it's, this is more for my skin tone anyway. I'm not mad at it, but I don't want my fair skin girls buying it thinking it's translucent and then it darkens up their face a little bit. So just keep that in mind. But if you're interested in the powders and the formula, I say go for it. It's a beautiful powder. This one reminds me of the Cody Airspun. The color, the quality, it reminds me a lot of that. So if you like that, you'll like this. Just, again, be mindful of your skin tone. Okay, and lastly, what I want to show you I'm most excited about. I took the Rebel Rose collection. This is Kiss of Death. And I let it dry down in two spots. I don't know how long this has been out, but I saw it in the new section. It says new on it. I didn't hear anything about it yet. But this makeup remover stick. I want to show you this compared to the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I am shook. I am excited. I'm going to show you how this works, okay? So I just want you to see the comparison. I'm going to put this one on here. And that's it. I clean it off with my makeup wipe. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Clinique. Get that in there warm and good. And now I want to show you how they wipe off. That's the Clinique. And this is the Wet n Wild. It's literally a dupe. It didn't remove it any less or any better. It removed it exactly the same. I swear by this product, but it, this is the travel size and I have a big one in my upstairs bathroom. I keep reloading the mini and keep one upstairs, one downstairs. The normal size is 25 bucks and I go through it like water. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. It's not only a better formula because I do like the fact that it's a stick and it's easy to take with me. It's nice that you could just clean the top and you're not sticking your fingers in a jar. And the price, I could buy five of these for the price of this. This is fantastic. If you like bombs to remove your makeup, you will not be disappointed. Grab these. Grab a, grab a few because you never know who went wild. If something doesn't do well, then they don't bring it back. This is amazing. I am restocking the crap out of these. I love it. But that's all I purchased. So leave the hashtag down below. Hashtag stay wild. All right. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.